Hi there. Winter is over, but it still gets quite cold at night, so I'm wearing this black turtleneck top. It's not the safest thing to wear during a makeup session, but let's see how it goes. I'm still gonna use this Duot palette because as you can see, I'm still super excited about it. Cold weather and all. Here we go. I've already prepped my skin with toner as well as my new vitamin C serum from Dear Claire's. Just applying it on my skin makes me feel so pretty already. As always, I'm going to start with the brows. This video is in response to a request by one of my awesome subscribers, which is to make a regular or everyday looking makeup with Filipinta Beauty's Duwada palette. She didn't specify a color though, so I had someone very special pick it out for me. And yes, I will feature him in one of my future videos very soon. My hair right now has gone much lighter than my natural hair color, so of course I had to adapt and adjust my eyebrow color too. The Duwata palette's Anita shade is just so appropriate. Cleaning up with my favorite foundation. Like in my previous video, I'll be using two foundations again. One is in the lighter shade and one is in the darker shade. Just to make sure that it blends nicely into the skin color I should have gotten if only I weren't so pale. It's really hard when your skin doesn't have any color at all without makeup. I never asked to disappear in pictures. Which is something I certainly would if I don't contour. Look at how that blending made me look like an actual living person. Now for some color. I'll be using Lambana, Nimbus, and Akasha, the green shades from the Diwata palette. It's actually very pigmented, but the brush just doesn't do it any justice. I prefer using my finger when it comes to eyeshadow. I actually haven't done green eyeshadow makeup before, so I'm still quite surprised with how it's turning out. I'm adding a bit of Anito on the corners for some depth. It's the brown one. I've grown quite fond of calling the shades by their names instead of their colors. And for the eyeshadow, it was Nimbus, Akasha, and a shimmer of Lambana. In easier terms, it was the light metallic green, and then the dark matte green, and then the glitters.
and black eyeliner for definition. Some people think it's an unnecessary step to put black eyeliner on top of eyeshadow, but I don't know. To me, It's not complete without black eyeliner, or any eyeliner for that matter. I mean, it could also serve as a guide if you wanted to wear fake lashes, and it could hide fake lash boo-boos. Like if one side is a bit higher than the other one, or it's a bit tilted, a good black eyeliner application could cover all that up, and it won't be noticed at all. You have fake lashes, black eyeliner is a must. It helps the seer make sense of why you have fake lashes. Like, it just makes sense. And probably wouldn't if it didn't have eyeliner. Even more so when your eyelashes, I mean, fake lashes, are the dramatic type ones. Like, what I have right now. Voila! We shouldn't forget about the bottom corners either. Just a little bit on both sides. Some mascara to merge the real and fake lashes together, so it won't be too obvious that you're wearing fake ones. Even if they're obviously fake, due to their size and volume. And it kind of makes everything look tidy, as well as make your fake eyelashes hang on better. A bit of contouring for the much needed nose line. Starting from the brows, lightly and gently going to the tip of the nose. Remember to put shadows on the sides for additional nose height. I also do this to make my nose look slimmer than it actually is. What a cheat! A little bit under the lower lip so it looks more plump. Now for the Maria Makiling Nude Lip Gloss. Look at that color. It's so rich and pigmented and light at the same time. I'm just in love with how nice it smells. And how easily I could apply it. It just glides on. A bit of powder to set everything in place. And coloring my skin with bronzer, blush, and highlighter. I used a gold chrome highlighter from Maybelline. The same one I used in my previous video, because it can be subtle or very strong depends on how you use it. I've also used liquid and stick highlighters before, but I think powder ones are the easiest ones to use. I could say the same thing for bronzers. I'm using a bit of this, the shade's Berbinota. It's like a light rosy brown. I think it would make for a good blush. And it did, as you can see. So there you have it, my normal day-to-day -day look with the Juwara palette from Philippine Cat Beauty. Until next time, see ya!